I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Captain, I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of The Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. They dispense three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel related needs. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah. That's my code name for... You know. Our mutual friend. Yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in his estate, which is heavily guarded. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. House of Inebriation? Count me the hell in! Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. All of them trying to eat you, I'd wager. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators.
When the birds start disappearing, you know something's a foul. No pun intended. Fine. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. If things are broken here, of all places, then I'm starting to think there ain't a hope left in this colony. Things have kept on running this long, right? Or so I used to think. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Is that supposed to be a model of the system? Not super accurate. Ugh. Decadence ain't gonna save you when beasts chew through the walls. Spacer's choice dehydrated water. Hey, stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> you 
He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL-issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Yep. I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium-colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> Wow, listen to me, I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like Purple very crunch, or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. I just need to sit down. And we're stalking. And we're stalking. I've always loved. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination,
examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. If they'd sent money to Monarch instead of building even one of those homes, I bet we could have rebuilt Stellar Bay. The whole damn thing. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Well, there's nothing to see here. Nope, nothing at all. Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry. You can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Someone needs to teach those iconoclasts a lesson of what they can do in gunship. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Couldn't say. We've got a backlog and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box.
You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. traveling on foot out there, even back when there were roads. I protected them from rats and the like. When there were roads? Can I go somewhere? A aside from wherever they were headed. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah? Let's see it. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would... would you like me to make you tea? Please! This is important! Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, He'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it, we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons.
When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Good. Halcyon is in dire need of someone like you. district is off limits. Move along. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. I'm not sure I have ever in my entire life felt more out of place than I do at this moment. really need all the security. I figured... Stay your business. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Now 
Nothing exciting ever happens around here. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or how many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Someone needs to teach those iconoclasts a lesson for what they did to our gunship. Excuse me, just a moment. Is there something I can do for you? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. One person gets all this space just to, to sign papers all day? I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources 
while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. Guess the whole colony's... Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off-limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. I think I'm going to start taking my lunches out of the city. That woman from downstairs is going to the cafeteria. That scientist? The one who's been hound... Being the clerks? Oof, gives me the shut. They're all pretty unpleasant. What do you think they actually do down there? Best not to ask. You see any sprats loose up here? Don't let the guards hear you asking questions. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without sight. You see any sprats loose up here? Definitely don't touch them. Hmm?
Not so fast. What do you think you're doing? You made your point. Carry on, then. Like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this. And you're still... Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? That's right, you weren't here when it happened. Some UDL officers took him into custody. Oh, law, what did they take him for? UDL's been questioning anybody with possible connections. Sorry, I'm kinda in the middle of something. I knew it! He's eating your lunch too, isn't he? That greedy little sissy pig. This is great. I finally have someone else to complain to. Do these people got nothing else to occupy their time? You get your turn. Right now, we're talking about Theodore. Oh, that's no problem. I can get you into the lab. In fact, let's go there now. Theodore is out right now, but we should be ready when he gets back. That way, everyone can see you chew him out. This is going to be so good. Don't let the guards hear you asking questions or peeking in the back. I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And she's on her own if she runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Holt. Move along. A UDL security attendant is... Nothing exciting ever happens around here. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. 